Why you should superset during your workouts. I'm Max with Max Performance, and in today's video, we're going to talk about supersetting, what it is, how it's different than a compound set, and why you should implement supersetting into your workouts, the, the benefits of doing it, maybe some of the slight drawbacks and some situations where you also should not use supersetting. And I wouldn't say you shouldn't use supersetting, but maybe it's not as maybe it's not as encouraged or effective, but you can always, you know, give it a shot yourself. So uh, like, comment, subscribe. There's the plug. Let's jump into it. So what is a superset? A superset is where you have one movement that uh, utilizes, let's say, like chest and then another movement that utilizes, let's say, back and you do one after the other. So like, let's say you do an incline dumbbell pre bench press followed by a uh, pulley row, a, a lap pulley row, right? That would be a superset. It's pretty simple. You know, you just do, you know, back or you do uh, chest and then back, or you do triceps and then biceps, or you do back and then chest, or you do back, biceps and then triceps, right? It really doesn't matter. You mix and match, uh, go quads and hamstrings, hamstrings and quads, right? It doesn't really matter. Um, in fact, I mean, you can, as long as this is usually my rule of thumb, as long as I don't feel that, that uh, the two muscle groups really working together during the lift, right? So like if I did like a, a flat bench press into an incline bench press, it's like my chest is already gonna be smoked and fried. That's a compound set where you do the same, like two, and you can do that, but it's a different application. Um, so if you're not, if basically, if you're, if you're able to feel the other muscle resting while you're doing the, the ladder movement, that's a superset. Um, and you can play around with it. I mean, there's probably like kind of a, if you had a Venn diagram of like superset and then compound set, there's probably somewhere in the middle where they meet, where it's like kind of a superset, but it's also kind of a compound set. Anyways, so what are the benefits of doing supersets? Uh, one, they're incredibly efficient. You don't have to do tricep press down and then move into biceps or a dumbbell curl, whatever you're doing, you do them at the same time. Um, which is incredibly efficient, especially if you do not have a ton of time on your hands. Like, like I can only spend so much time in the gym. I have about an hour and a half, three to four days a week, typically three days a week, an hour and a half. That's not a lot of time. So when it comes to doing accessory work, uh, specifically, I superset as much as I can. Sometimes I'll do um, like three exercises. I'll do like quad like a leg extension into a hamstring curl into some kind of back exercise you know what i mean like a pulley row uh, like that's what i was doing yesterday um it's a great way to make your workouts more efficient another great benefit is there's a bit more of a cardiovascular effect it gets your heart rate up so if you're someone like me and all you want to do is lift weights and you don't want to run or do anything and not that i don't want to i just don't have the time people are busy you know schedules are busy well, there you go. Then you get a bit of a cardiovascular effect in your weight training, which is great. Um, and uh, there's a time and place for this again, and, but uh, like using it for accessory work, great. Um, you can use it on main movements. Like I'll do a lot of speed work on bench press or speed work, technique work, whatever you want to call it. You know, I'll do like six sets of two at 70% of my one rep max. I found it's really easy for me to bang out that set and then go do pull-ups and then bang out another double and then go do more pull-ups. Um, so it's incredibly efficient and it, to me, it does not take away from the first movement you're doing or the second movement you're doing. It, it really maybe has a slight effect where it's like, if I do my, my double on bench and then go in to do pull-ups, maybe I get one less pull-up, maybe, but that's debatable. So I really don't think it, it, uh, like decreases work perf your performance on the second movement. I, I think if anything, it, it, it's almost like synergistic and it helps because you, you're getting a massive pump. You're getting a ton of blood flow and it just feels good. You feel like you're doing a lot of work. So it's efficient. You'll save time, um, better pump. I mean, it, and it's just fun. Like I love doing it. And it also, let's face it, it makes you look like a stud in the gym when you're just fucking bam, 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 bam. Like, oh, does this guy stop? This guy's got a real motor on him. Woo right? Just saying. Um, so yeah, those are the benefits of supersets. Uh, and when can you implement them in your workouts? Like I said, great for accessory work. You can also implement them when you're doing compound movements. I've tried to implement them on deadlift and squat. Um, 
on squat, I found I can do like really light lateral raises or side delt raises, whatever, you know, uh, maybe some light back work, but if it's pretty heavy squatting and deadlifting, honestly, I don't think there's a whole lot you can do. Maybe throw in, you can throw in abs almost at any point in your training and it almost just helps the rest of your movements. It's not get, like if I did ab wheel before I squatted a set of squat, I, I, my abs aren't going to fail before everything else. So that, that's another great point is th throwing abs as much as you can. I should really make a better point to do this because it is, it's so easy not to do, but I mean, you could superset abs with every single exercise you're doing. If like, if you're doing a superset of incline bench and uh, lat pull down, you could throw abs in after that and sneak it in there. No problem. It's really just a matter of discipline and wanting to do it. So Anyways, we talked about supersets, how they're different from compound sets, what supersets are, some examples of supersets, when you could do them in your workouts, and kind of why you should probably be doing them. And even if you're not doing them a ton, I would recommend trying to do it like once or twice a week and just seeing how it feels, just to try something out, you know. It's just another uh, tool in your tool chest. So I'm Max with Max, Perfor Max Performance. I'll catch you in the next one.